Okay, back with Bill Puckett and our first special guest tonight, Eyewitness JC. Now, we're sitting there in the car with him, and off to our left, he's at a stoplight, is a service station on the corner, I assume, and directly above the service station, he's estimating 40 feet off the ground, is a triangular ship. All right, now, what I want to try to do is get an idea of how big that piece of equipment was and it was a machine of some kind hovering still stationary I assume right above the gas station is that correct that is correct all right how big was it what's your what's your best guess let's say if you're looking at it to your left and where would the nose if there is a nose on these things where would the front end be and where would it be pointing to the in the direction you're going toward you uh, backwards I was going, uh, what is it, south, and it was pointing east. If the triangular formation of the lights is correct on which way the ship goes okay. in direction. All right. So it was facing east, I'm facing south, and it was the size of the gas station. Like, it didn't, it didn't seem to be bigger than it. It seemed about, about the same size. The gas station or the property itself and the station? Just the station. It was like about the same size as the roof, and this is and a probably. It could have been a lot bigger because that's the current size. If it was exactly a higher, correct, it could have been much larger. And it was dark out, and I was awfully distracted just by its presence. How was it colored? What was it picking? It was obviously picking up light from below, and it, and it, did it have lights on its tips? Um, was it metal looking, it, metallic it was, looking? Uh, yeah, it was a, like a black matte metallic metal looking color on the All sides. Right. And the bottom of it was where the lights were at. And it was three circular white lights, like dishes. And they seemed to like light up within themselves. They didn't have any light coming off of them. And were, they at, were they at the tips of the triangle? Yeah, they were on the corners. On the bottom corners. Correct. Would, but would you, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, go on. Was it, would you call it an equilateral triangle? Were all the sides the same length approximately? Or was it longer uh, than it was triangular? Yeah, I would say equilateral. All right. And there was a little red light like you guys were talking about earlier in between. It was in the center of the three white lights. That's a pretty common description that, that common. you're giving us. Yeah. Yeah. All the now, way back yeah, to the Belgium sightings in the 19th. Yeah, I heard it was called the Belgium Triangle. Yeah. Now this, as you're looking at this, it's 75 feet away from you, 100 feet away maybe, something yeah, like exactly. that. Could you get an idea of thickness as you're looking at it almost sideways? How thick did it appear to be? I'd say probably 15 feet maybe. So pretty wow. substantial. Okay. So we got yeah, something it was, that's... It was, a, it was big. We got something that's maybe 40 feet across, something 50 feet across, uh, end to end, side to side. Exactly. And maybe 10 to 15 feet thick. This is, this is amazing. Now, it sat there, and you the light changed, and you were able to drive onward... What, yeah, I what started going through the light at about two miles an hour watching uh, this thing. I was going to say, what, was there. did you have any inkling of stopping the car and getting out, or were you a little bit antsy by this time? I would have been. Oh, I, would have, I was definitely antsy, and I was freaking out, and I was, so I was trying to go as slow as I could to keep watching it, but I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't know what to you do. You didn't want to go for a ride, I get the idea. Exactly, because <laughs> I was definitely scared that I might not come back. Wow. <laughs> All right, so this this matte black craft with three white lights, one at each corner and the red light in the center, sat there. Did it move at any time, or was it completely motionless? How did it How did it handle itself? Oh no! When once when I when my light turned green and I started going through the light, it started moving sideways with me along the road. It liked you. I guess it it noticed me. That's for sure. Just right. and I guess it had a green light, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> and there was no sound, not a, not a single sound. If you were at the gas station, you wouldn't hear it, see it, nothing. And not another car. Not another car. I was. It was so eerie. 
What was the weather like that night? Was it clear? It was calm it was or? fair weathered, clear out. It wasn't very breezy. I just uh I just remember how it was very warm and oh, I just remember the there was no sound. It was just it was so wild. It was like it wasn't even there, but it was. It was like you'd have to be looking at the right moment, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, I got it. Now You had your window you're... down all the time? Yeah, right when I started Coming up on it, which I thought was a helicopter, mm-hmm. I turned my radio off. I turned my rolled my windows down. I was basically hanging out the window looking at this thing. How far did it follow you, JC? Well, my house. Well, where I turn into go down my street from the gas station, it's about uh, about a quarter mile, I'd say. It followed me till I turned, and then it kept going down the road that I was on. But I had turned. This is extraordinary. Now, this, this again, uh, Bill and JC, tells me that why would the, well, let me rephrase my statement. Why would the U.S. government spend maybe a trillion dollars on a program like this over decades and take a chance and fly something like this to within 40 feet at the top of a gas station in an urban area? Makes no sense to me. Makes None. no sense at all. I mean, they, these things have been seen for nearly 30 years, I mean, when they were developing the stealth bomber and stealth fighter, SR-171 Blackbird spy plane, they rolled those out within a 30-year time frame, certainly. And as long as these things have been seen, you just have to wonder where they are from. Anything to add to this wonderful description, JC? By the way, that was four years ago, and it sounds like it's alive in your mind as if you saw it last night. Oh yeah, it definitely is. I think about it all the time, and it it just keep, it consistently blows me away. And I'm still searching for answers. And I'm glad that I was able to let you guys know the story, and maybe somebody will know more about it. Well, there are people out there who see things who never talk about them, and by you coming forward and sharing this, you're encouraging others to do the same. How, did you try to tell uh, friends and family about this the next day? Oh yeah, definitely. I, everybody I told, they they couldn't believe it or they thought I was crazy. So well, keep, it's kind of like you're a little hesitant to to talk about it. Understand? What did the dealer tell you about your vehicle when they fixed it? Did they have any explanation? No, not at all. They said they've never seen anything like it, and they just had told me that all the electronic sensors were fried. Well, what did that cost you? Mind me asking? Do you recall? Uh, I'm, I know the warranty covered a lot of it, but it was eh, a couple hundred bucks, I'd say. Yeah. Maybe okay. 700. Very good. And, and you had to replace the cell phone, is that correct? Yeah, I had to get a whole new cell phone. They did not know what was wrong with it. And the last but you I saw of it was it was moving on right on down the street after you made a turn, what would be basically underneath it almost, or underneath its flight path. Yeah. Correct. It was basically, it was like a little higher than telephone poles. Unreal. Just amazing. Wow. Definitely. It was, it, it blew my mind and still continues to. JC, thank you. That was a, an extraordinary report. Yeah, well done. Thanks for joining us, JC. Not a problem. Thanks for having me on, guys. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night.